I've made some recent videos about why your favorite musicians are broke and why 360 record deals can leave artists trapped into a recording contract that they desperately want out of. Today's special artist decided to go the independent route so he could make over a million dollars and never have to worry about those terrible record contracts. In a twisted turn of events, it's his music that will actually make him go from millionaire to being in jail. It's the opposite of other artists who are trying to go from zero to millionaire. I'm using this justice.gov press release for this video. Nuke Bizzle is an up and coming rapper from Memphis, Tennessee who resides in the Hollywood Hills and loves to flash his money on social media. If you were following him on Instagram or watched any of his videos on Facebook, you would think he was making a lot of money through his music or through other means. It turns out that he wanted to bypass the entire come up process of being a musician and just get to being a millionaire right away. He must have thought he found a loop poll in the California Employment Development Department, EDD, because he stole $1.2 million from the department by creating a scheme to fraudulently obtain unemployment insurance benefits under the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, also known as the CARES Act. According to an affidavit filed with the complaint, Baines possessed and used debit cards preloaded with unemployment benefits administered by the California Employment Development Department, EDD. The debit cards were issued in the names of third parties, including identity theft victims. The applications for these debit cards listed addresses to which Baines had access in Beverly Hills and Koreatown. Evidence gathered during the investigation established that at least 92 debit cards that had been preloaded with more than $1.2 million in fraudulently obtained benefits were mailed to these addresses, according to the affidavit. Baines and his co-schemers allegedly accessed more than 704,000 of these benefits through cash withdrawals, including in Las Vegas, as well as purchases of merchandise and services. I'm curious what services he bought. He was in Las Vegas with stolen money and it was all from cash withdrawals. Las Vegas, cash, and services means he was probably at least smart enough to get some loving in before heading to jail. If you just received access to $1.2 million from fraudulently stealing other people's identity, what is the last thing you would do? Of course you wouldn't rap about it in a song. Serial killers are known to leave little symbols from their victims as a way to brand the crime. I wonder if Nuke Bizzle was interested in leaving his branding on the crime he committed. Unfortunately, his mark was way too obvious as he created a song titled EDD. Here are snippets from the song with lyrics. EDD, shut up. I just been swiping for EDD. Go to the bank and stack at least. This is here better than selling peas. I made some red that I couldn't believe. Ten cards and two hundred bonds. I got a shot at the Donald Trump. I just might swipe me a long song. I'm in New York having money for. Can you imagine an easier court case than this one? It would take Al Pacino or Keanu Reeves from Devil's Advocate to beat the case for Nuke Bizzle. Him and his friends make a song declaring their guilt of stealing money from the government. I think they need more experience in scamming or they need to get consultation from some of these internet marketing gurus so that they can learn how to not make their scamming so obvious. Here's Nuke Bizzle saying that he just woke up to $300,000 after getting rich off of EDD. I ain't got rich, I'm an EDD. I ain't hit no more lick of an EDD. And just last night I was selling P. And I just woke up to 300 G. Go sit the K off of SBA. It's time to ball like the NBA. On September 23rd, Las Vegas police arrested Baines, who had in his possession eight debit cards, seven of which were in the names of other persons, the affidavit states. The criminal complaint alleges three felony offenses, access device fraud, aggravated identity theft, and interstate transportation of stolen property. If convicted of all of these charges, Baines would face a statutory maximum sentence of 22 years in federal prison. 22 years is no joke, and honestly, I hope people like this serve a significant amount of time for their crimes. One of the major themes of this channel is exposing the reality of social media and all of the success and money you see people posting and flaunting. If you've noticed a trend, I'm always trying to explain why a lot of people on social media aren't doing nearly as well financially as they want you to believe. Apps like Instagram are full of fraud. If you follow artists like this, you may think they're making a bunch of money, but if you pull back the curtain, you realize that the money was attained through fraudulent ways. He wasn't popping on YouTube or Spotify. He will be all over the news now for his music though. Just another charlatan idiot. If you haven't figured it out by now, they are everywhere.